everyone, I'm Juliana, and I will be discussing the theme of validation and anxiety within the modern intimate by Carla Baker. I'll be highlighting the relevance and significance of validation and anxiety within this text, and lastly, draw a connection between Cat Person by Kristen Rupenian and the modern intimate as they relate to these two broader themes. During my reading of the modern intimate and clowns this week, I found myself as the reader feeling a familiar sense of panic and discomfort while reading Cat Person during Week 1. Across these three stories, the dynamic of the relationship seems similar. Both individuals in the relationship tailored themselves with the purpose of seeking validation from the other. The consequence of not being completely transparent about themselves, partially due to a heavy reliance of internet communication, caused a lot of anxiety for those characters as they were anxious to receive the validation, but also unsure of what qualities the other would validate. Starting with the modern in intimate, we meet Carrie and Eric. When she is making the vegan, vegan baked oatmeal, Eric is brought up three times. This is significant because I believe Baker's intention was to foreshadow Carrie's desire for Eric's validation and her anxiety as she is constantly thinking about what he likes. The specific quotes here are, Eric is wanting to ditch pancakes and I can get behind that. Eric loves my hands. I like them too, though I didn't put much effort into my nails until I met him. And lastly, I was happy to switch for Eric even though milk doesn't bother me. On the other hand, Eric seeks validation from his work peers and overall desirability from women, however not specifically Carrie. Unlike Carrie, Eric does not desire to be emotionally close with anyone specific, but rather just seeks to reconfirm his own image of himself. I say this because Eric's actions are described by Baker as out of necessity. For example, he drinks alcohol and coffee, even though he isn't a fan, to uphold his work persona, and his ability to multitask while texting is a skill out of the need for efficiency, not, not the lame desire to be connected. Baker shows us a slight breakdown of Eric's character when he's in the cab heading to the work function. Eric became exponentially more aware of how uncomfortable he is. The magnanimous pinch his feet. His new Omega has got a hold on some arm hair. He misses Carrie, maybe a little. This passage is significant because it speaks to Eric's anxiety and discomfort towards upkeeping his work image and also his anxiety towards emotional closeness. To further this idea of Eric's anxiety towards emotional closeness, I look at his other interactions with women. Matilda, the Starbucks barista, and his use of Tinder. With Matilda, he thinks about the moment that he could have made a move after she expressed her complaint about not being able to get close to anyone. Eric is unaware as to why he did not make a move since he was attracted to Matilda. In my reading, I came to the conclusion that again it was his anxiety of emotional closeness. Eric is very self-aware when it comes to his appearance, but fails in being self-aware internally and intrinsically. With the Starbucks barista, he focuses on his appearance and what he thinks the barista found appealing about him when she bats her eyelashes at him. The last aspect I want to touch on in the modern intimate is the role of Tinder for Eric and Carrie. For Eric, Tinder seems to be a tool for him to reaffirm his desirability from the opposite sex and also to put to rest any potential emotional closeness with Carrie. Throughout this story, Baker portrays Eric as lacking true affection for Carrie. However, as he mentally decides to make a move on Annalena from Tinder, he says it will help him through the end of things with Carrie. This sentence provides a reveal of Eric's character as he uses Tinder to make the breakup easy for himself. We are not given specifics on exactly what it is that he needs help pound through. However, the what is important in this case as it either reveals to us that the what is either emotional loss with Carrie or merely Carrie's validation. Personally, I question whether he uses Tinder to make the emotional loss of Carrie easier or if he is merely seeking validation from another before he loses the validation he currently has. If it is the former, that would reveal to us that Eric actually does feel emotional closeness to Carrie. However, his anxieties cause him to end it. If it is the latter, that would align with Eric's character up to now. As for Carrie, she uses Tinder to soothe herself as she anticipates the end of things with Eric. Tinder's role for Carrie is to provide validation that other men like her as she comes to the conclusion that Eric's validation will never come. Throughout this story, Carrie 
Carrie desires a genuine relationship with Eric. However, the end reveals that she never did uninstall Tinder, despite previous claims that she felt they were becoming closer and more serious. Why do you think she never did delete the app? Does this reveal that she anticipated the end of things with Eric, or is it revealed that she actually shares the same anxiety of emotional clo closeness as Eric does? Finally, relating this to Cat Person, I felt that Eric and Carrie's relationship revealed to have some similarities to Margot and Robert's relationship. Not only was the desire for validation and prevalence of anxiety there, but also there were parallels between each character. Eric and Margot share similar thought process and seek validation due through their desirability to the opposite sex, to the point of picturing themselves from the opposite sex's perspective. For Eric, this happens when he describes the Starbucks barista as eyeing him in his Italian suit, and for Margot, this happens after going back to Robert's place as she imagines Robert's, Robert's thoughts about her, that she has the perfect body and that she wants, and that he wants her more than anyone else. Carrie and Robert share a similarity that they tailor themselves in pursuit of validation from their partner. For Carrie, this is shown in the beginning of the story as she tailors her own likings to Eric's and puts effort into her nails after Eric shares that he likes her hands. For Robert, this is shown as he is not honest about his age from the beginning and tries to impress Margot with his movie choice. Some may not go as far as to say that Robert and Carrie are liars, since Margot and Eric never ask specific questions, but rather that Robert and Carrie seek out their partner's validation, so much so that they present themselves in a specific way. Of course, with this lack of transparency, anxieties arise in the relationship, as each individual upkeeps their self-made image. Eric upkeeps his work image, Carrie upkeeps her health-oriented image, Margot upkeeps her mature, artsy image, and Robert upkeeps his masculine image. Each of them creates images to satisfy their desire for validation, even at the expense of the anxieties that come, up, that come along with upholding this curated version of themselves. The image that they create parallels similar, similarly to a dating profile. The profile is self-made and aims to gain the approval of others. Like Eric says, women are experts at looking beautiful in their photos. However, I would like to take this further to say that both men and women do this. For Tinder, people portray their best image, and in the modern instrument and cat person, the characters portray an image aimed for validation. With this conclusion, the fiction texts seem to parallel our nonfiction realities. Thank you so much for listening.